Once the dimension style has been created, I can select it and use the first dimension function, which is the linear dimension. This method will display the dimensions depending on the orthogonality angle. If I want to make horizontal dimensions, I'll set the orthogonality to 0 degrees. However, if I want to create vertical dimensions, I'll set the orthogonality to 90 degrees. It's important to note that we must disable the orthogonality to avoid any restrictions during the point selection for the dimensions. In this case, I set the orthogonality to 0. Click on the first endpoint and then on the second endpoint. After the second click, the back displays the horizontal dimension, which I can move along its normal and then click again to confirm its insertion. As you can see, it's very easy. Just one click, then another click, move the mouse and click once again. To create vertical dimensions, I'll set the orthogonality to 90 degrees and then do the same process but clicking on the endpoints of vertical lines instead.